last 250 meters. It's Bedford Bodman now, Nottingham University. So here, here we go with uh, the first semi-final women's intermediate ones. Crop scores moving up to the line. Uh, up to 10, still in the lead. Edinburgh now in second place. Dublin in third. A little bit of a challenge to all from the third of all Lake. Dublin University aren't out the woods yet. Three crews to go through. So we've got upper tents coming up to the line. And Dublin, I think, are going to hang on to this third place. Despite a strong late challenge from the Fernable Mort Lake Composite. This is the second semi final women's intermediate one, Coxed Fours. Agecroft leading Vesta. Now in third place is Barnes Bridge. Having a good old race with Oxford Brooks. And those two crews in lanes uh, five and six.
semi final. Ace Goff has been leading all the way. Vesta still pushing them hard. Those two crews look to be in good shape for places in the final. In third place now is Oxford Brooks. They pushed through Barn Bridge. They're going to struggle to respond to this one and come up to the line. It's Vesta and Agecroft having a good old battle for first and second place honours. Both will go through to the final. Vesta have just gotten that over Agecroft in the last. Actually, the other three squads are all still in it as well. Five crews racing for three places. Still plenty of scope for things to change. Leander, look as if they've got first place in good, good order now. Uh, Tideway Skull is currently second, but they're being pushed to the line by the Iron Arrow Composite and by Imperial Composite 2. So Leander leaving field, this is the first semi final elite portable skull. Leander have Good, good position for first place, but it's about who's second and third. All boats pushing hard for the line. This is going to be a blank. Moving through the last 250 metres with Leander B crew leading the Agecroft Composite and Queen's Belfast third. Moving up to the line then, the semi-final elite quadruple skulls. Leander B opened up commanding leads from uh, the Agecroft Imperial Nottingham and Reading University Composite. Uh, with Queen's Belfast in third place, three crews to go. Final, we're still awaiting the verdict on that very close first semi-final of that event. Intermediate two, Cox fours, semi-final, moving into the last 250 metres with Goldie A, been leading all the way. And that's still the case with Seaton Excelsior in second place. And uh, taken on third place from Lee. Uh, Lee are going to have to find something really magic if they're going to get back in this. Intermediate two Cox Falls coming up to the line with Goldie Boatman, A crew leading Eaton Excelsior, and then Sam Patent in third place. So 250 metres to run in the second semi-final of Intermediate 2, Cox to Bors. University of London comfortably controlling the race now with Carlo in second place. Presentation College having to work hard and they're being challenged now by Goldie for third place. Four boats out there coming to the finish, three to go through. UL have raised their rate. Carlo are going with them. And presentation responded to the challenge from Goldie. Goldie raising their rate and striking, but it's a little bit. And London Rowing Club, Thames Rowing Club in lane four, also performing strongly. But now uh, moving up in lane one, Henley Rowing Club. Um, on the close side of the lake skew, on the far side from the other crews in the lead. They're attacking the finish. And it's still a uh, pace with a slightly uh, substantially raised their rate of striking. And it's taking out to be a close finish. A big swing from Henry Growing Club in lane one. Club also looking to be in the place. And it's Henry 
Ferry Club who have come from Pleasure Coach 5th to go, who are now battling for the win for the Old Scoring Cup uh, with Maystone and Victor in lane 6. It's Henley Ferry Club in lane 1 and Maystone in lane 6. And it looks to be Maystone who have hung on. Race 49, the first heat of senior Cox Ford is on the course. The first three to the final. Let's go, Brooks! Brooks and Newcastle University battling for first place. Both have a clear lead over the remainder of the field, so they're guaranteed that they could be the final of this event. As the battle now is on for the third qualifying place. It is going to be a tightly fought battle for these last qualifying places. And as a reminder, at the Hens Rowing Club, close to the spectators, uh, then uh, University College of Dublin, uh, up the lead. Then uh, Broxbourne Road, yeah, Bristol. So approaching the finish, three crews to proceed. University College Dublin is in the lead. And then it looks like Upper Thames Rowing Club in wearing uh, bow number one. Uh, they will go through. And then the battle for the last place is between the University of Bristol uh, with bow number five. And Some of the crew members from uh, King's College London are in the lead, but they're looking round for the finish. About 200 metres to go. And if the order remains like this, they'll progress to the final. They're under pressure, though, from the rowing club who are attacking them in this last 150 metres. But they're holding a lead of just about the length. It's King's College London Boat Club and the Lee Rowing Club. And they're being warned, King's College London, being warned by the umpire to stay in their lane.
Come on, Jimmy! Fuck it up! up to the enclosure, Carlo, and what looks like three quarters of the length of these over Glasgow, with a potential training well behind. <laughs> 